It hasn't been surprising to anyone for a long time now that many countries have women serve in the military on an equal basis with men. However, Norway took it to a whole new level. Women and men don't just serve together in this country, but also live and sleep in the same barracks. Norway is the first NATO country to have made conscription compulsory for both men and women. This can be explained by the fact that Norway is a rather small country with a low birth rate. Gender equality is actively promoted in the country, so recruiting women for military service seemed logical. For all its liberality, the Norwegian government considers strengthening the country's defense one of its top priorities. If we take a look at the statistics, we should note that the Scandinavian country ranks second in terms of military spending per citizen, $455. The US holds the first place, $850. Military women perform the same combat missions as military men. They undergo special training together in training camps and receive the same ranks. Relatively recently, the government decided to merge the male and female barracks, thus making the two genders live together. At first, men took this news rather skeptically, and many of them openly said that they were uncomfortable living in the same room as women. But the soldiers adapted to the new reality surprisingly quickly. In this country, gender equality isn't just an empty phrase. Male soldiers note that women are no different from them in terms of endurance, courage, and tenacity. All of them are soldiers, regardless of gender, and the barracks even became cozier. Moreover, the Norwegian army stopped having problems with sexual harassment. As for the charter, it can also be seen as rather liberal. For example, both sexes are allowed to wear long hair. It is important, though, that it has to be braided or pulled into a ponytail. There's also an option to choose a vegetarian menu in the canteen. In addition to regular service, the Norwegian Armed Forces have the Home Guard, the Rapid Mobilization Force, Heimavarna. It includes those who have served in the Army. Each person has their own weapon, uniform, and a full set of camping equipment at home. In the event of an external threat, the regular army of 29,400 people will be replenished with another 300,000 of those who are willing to come to their country's defense. 